helped Frank Williams and his partner respond to a distress call from an old, abandoned house. The house's eerie and decrepit state immediately sets a grim tone. Upon entering, the officers encounter a horrifying scene. A woman is chained in a dark, filthy room, her eyes gruesomely removed. She is barely clinging to life, and the grotesque nature of her injuries makes the situation all the more desperate. As Frank and his partner attempt to rescue the woman, they are ambushed by Jacob Goodnight. The situation quickly escalates as Jacob violently attacks Frank's partner, killing him brutally. Jacob then turns his attention to Frank. Frank, despite his injuries and shock, manages to shoot Jacob in the head, but the attack does not kill him. Jacob escapes into the night, leaving Frank traumatized both physically and psychologically. Years later, Frank Williams is now a deeply scarred and traumatized detective. His past encounter with Jacob Goodnight has left him with severe emotional scars and a deep sense of guilt. Frank is assigned a new task, overseeing a group of juvenile delinquents who are sentenced to community service at the abandoned Blackwell Hotel. This hotel, once a symbol of luxury, is now a desolate and decaying structure, its grandeur lost to time and neglect. The group of delinquents includes Kira, a tough and resourceful girl with a troubled past, Michael, who has a fraught relationship with Kira, Melissa, a devout and conflicted young woman struggling with her faith, and several other troubled youths. They are accompanied by Officer Hannah, a stern yet compassionate figure tasked with keeping order among the delinquents. Upon arrival, the group is met by Margaret, the hotel's caretaker. Margaret provides a brief and unsettling history of the Blackwell Hotel, emphasizing its decline from a once grand establishment to its current state of ruin. Unbeknownst to the delinquents, the hotel hides a dark secret. Jacob Goodnight is alive and has made the hotel his hunting ground. With his mother Margaret's help, Jacob has turned the hotel into a place of horror. As the group begins their cleaning duties, tensions rise. Old rivalries and personal conflicts surface among the delinquents. Kira and Michael's strained relationship becomes a focal point, while Melissa struggles with her faith and morality. The hotel's dark and labyrinthine corridors only add to the sense of dread. Jacob Goodnight begins his horrific spree by targeting Richie, one of the delinquents. Richie stumbles upon a hidden room filled with stolen goods and attempts to take some valuables. This act of greed leads him directly into Jacob's trap. Jacob captures Richie and subjects him to a brutal and horrifying torture, eventually killing him in a grotesque ritual that involves removing his eyes. When Richie fails to return, the remaining delinquents become alarmed. Their search for Richie leads them to various disturbing discoveries, increasing their anxiety and fear. As night falls, the hotel's dark and twisting corridors become a nightmarish maze, with Jacob picking off the delinquents one by one. Among the first to die after Richie are Russell and Zoe. Russell, who is arrogant and dismissive, and Zoe, who is compassionate but ultimately naive, both fall victim to Jacob's violent methods. Their deaths highlight the relentless and terrifying nature of Jacob's pursuit. Frank, haunted by his past experiences with Jacob, becomes increasingly desperate to protect the remaining delinquents. Despite his own injuries and psychological scars, Frank takes charge and tries to guide the group to safety. As the night progresses, the survivors, Michael, Melissa, and a few others, find themselves forming uneasy alliances. They barricade themselves in one of the hotel's rooms, hoping to wait out the night. However, their brief respite is shattered when Jacob continues his relentless pursuit. The group's attempts to escape lead them through the hotel's dark and treacherous hallways, where they encounter Jacob's traps and the grim remains of his previous victims. The survivors' numbers dwindle as Jacob continues his rampage. The survivors are desperate to find a way out, but their options are limited. Frank squares off against Jacob, using the last of his strength to confront the killer directly. During this critical confrontation, they attack Jacob, trying to pull him off balance and disrupt his focus. Their actions are coordinated but risky, as they must avoid getting caught in the crossfire. The struggle reaches a climax as Michael and Kira manage to create a diversion. They succeed in knocking Jacob slightly off balance, disrupting his hold on the edge. Seizing this moment pushes with renewed effort. The combined force of their efforts causes Jacob to lose his footing. 
The balance of power shifts dramatically. Jacob loses his grip and is sent plummeting from the roof. His fall is long and agonizing, the impact with the ground below echoing with a sickening finality. The survivors watch in a mix of relief and horror as Jacob's body lies motionless on the ground, his reign of terror seemingly ended. If you need the next and final part video kindly subscribe and comment and I will make sure to work on it and upload. By the way, my name is Serge's Mike. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you soon.